guys, Big Wheel Teens. Welcome back to one of our craft days, um, craft challenges, I guess. Uh, today, we are going to do canvas tissue paper art. My name is Lisa Lee. I'm one of your teen librarians, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, this one's a lot of fun. You can kind of just take your tissue paper and create whatever design you want to. If you want to fill up the whole entire thing, if you just want to do shapes, uh, like I chose circles, so I have a few of those prepped ready to go. Um, I've done a couple that I wasn't too pleased about, so I restarted it, did it again, and now I feel better. Um, <laughs> anyway, so all you need are your tissue paper, um, a great imagination to figure out what you want to design, your canvas or construction, I mean, um, poster paper, cardboard, any of those would work as well. If it's white, it would be like it, you would be able to see a little bit better. Um, glue, and then a paintbrush to paint on that glue. So let's just get started. Uh, I'm just going to take the top off to make it a little bit easier for me. So I can just dip the paintbrush in there, get a little bit on my, my brush, and then I'm going to take the glue and just do like a thin layer of glue on the canvas itself, just so I can place down the circles from where, uh, I can place them where I want them to go. And so they don't move. So we'll just add a circle there, a little more glue. <clears throat> we'll do another one. And then after you started to add a few of your shapes, um, your tissue paper, you want to go back over it with glue. So you can do whatever design you want to. Add a couple here and there, just to You know, be creative. Um, you can the colors fade into each other. You can do it just a few up at the top and then less, you know, whatever you guys want to do. Um, and then you take your glue and you're just going to paint back over your, your tissue paper. It is very thin, so I would be careful. You want to paint kind of in the way, or glue it, I guess, um, in the way that the tissue paper is, is kind of facing. So since mine are overlapping here, I want to go the opposite way so I don't peel it back up. So you just paint over it. Just get that kind of nice glossy finish. Oop, so like what I did right there. And then you just kind of go from there. So you can do a few at a time and then just keep going. Um, this is my finished product project that I, I put together. So with a bunch of different circles, I did um, red, blue, green, pink. I have a little bit of ex extra space up here, so I'm probably going to go back over and kind of fill that in, just to cover the whole entire thing. Uh, but this one was a lot of fun. It did take a little bit of time, just to make sure I got the, the right circles that I wanted, the right pattern, and then whenever it's all done, I was able to glue, I mean, to, yeah, glue it and then let it dry. So that's a lot of fun. Probably hang this up in the office. <laughs> Kim won't like me. Um, <laughs> I'm going to decorate the office with all of our fun crafts. Um, so with these crafts today, I just want to kind of give you guys some suggestions of some of our craft books that we have. We do have a ton, so here's a few. Um, slime, we have a bunch of books on slimes. Uh, a lot of fun to make, super easy. You can do, like, all of these are super colorful. Um, you can add glitter to them, just do a lot of fun stuff with, with slimes. We have a ton of, like, any, if you want to do anything with duct tape, we have a bunch of stuff here as well. Uh, just anything you want to create with duct tape, whether it goes with like wallets or or um, tablet holders or bracelets, like it's all like there's instructions for all of that in here. Um, I think that's incredible. I've never been able to do anything with duct tape, but this book is super helpful. Another fun one is the sloth crafts one that we have here. And it's just super cute. It has a lot to do with sloths, sloths as well, but they are, um, it's like, you can do stuff with tissue paper, you can do stuff with felt and fabric. So this one's a lot of fun as well. Just a bunch of, bunch of different crafts in here. So I recommend checking these out, going through our catalog um, and looking at some of our fun craft teen nonfiction books. Um, anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, let us know uh, in the comments or call us at the library. 
add those minutes into our online. We want to, you know, get our million minutes for the summer, and we'll see you guys next time.